advocates are pretty excited about this proposed law in Clemson that would make it illegal to keep pets chained up outside. It's an issue that communities across the upstate all handle differently. And Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live outside of City Hall. This is a good time to be talking about this with just the uh, harsh cold temperatures out there, Grace. Absolutely. This is the time of year you hear animal advocates saying that if you're cold, your animal's cold. So bring them inside. And this proposed law here in the city of Clemson would essentially make it illegal to keep an animal outside unless it was in a fenced in yard with food, water and shelter. Now we stopped by Clemson Paul Partners to talk with the president there, Margaret Thompson, and she tells us that this is a problem she sees every day while she's driving throughout the community. The state leaves laws about animal care up to local government, so there are several variations of these laws here in the upstate. For example, Greenville County has a law against tethering. We checked, and last year they found 11 violations. The ordinance says it's illegal to tie up a pet unless it's for hunting activities required in park areas or the animal is on a trolley system that allows for them to get some more movement in. However, dogs under three months old cannot be tethered at all. Thompson says the law should be flexible because no situation is the same. If they have a bowl and it's got clean water in it or their bowl or food bowl appears to be clean, but just empty at the time because they've eaten their food and they've got proper shelter, okay. But when you go there and they have none of those things and they're just chained up, I mean, what a life to live. Pickens County actually looked at a similar ordinance several years ago, but it did not pass. Critics at the time said the law was too harsh for some, like on owners of hunting dogs that have to be kept outside, but the owners say are still cared for. Now here in Clemson, the police department is looking for some community feedback on the proposed ordinance. So they're actually having a meeting next week. We have details on how you can take part in our Fox Carolina News app. Ashley.